Greetings friends. Several weeks ago, someone sent me a video which showed a soldier on his way to Gaza. He said something which shocked me. Quote, Sing Kari Bone with special Kavana this Shabbos. What is he talking about? What does Kari Bone have to do with Gaza? Everything. The soldier said that this famous Zemer, which happens to be one of my favorites, was composed about 600 years ago by a rabbi named Yisrael Ben Moshe Najara in an ancient Jewish community. Which community? Gaza. I checked into this and saw the following note in the art scroll Shabbos Siddur Nusach Eretz Yisrael quote Kari Bon's composer Yisrael Ben Moshe of Najara was a student of the Arizal in Tzfas during the 16th century and later became Rabbi of Gaza do you remember Country Yossi of the Stiebel Hoppers? Here is one of Country Yossi's classics. There's a real nice song that I love to sing, and it makes my neshama and Yosera swing. I could sing that song the whole night long. They call it Harry Bone. Everybody smiles in every home when the kids are singing Harry Bone. Okay, I'm not Country Yossi, but that's the way it went. My friends, I was shaken to the depths. I'd always assumed that Gaza was a place of Tumah, a corner of Mitzrayim. And now it hit me. I checked the maps and found that apparently, according to all opinions, Gaza is part of Biblical Israel, a place of tremendous Kedusha. And I heard that there are many ancient shuls in Gaza City. It hit me this war is not only about exorcising a malignant growth in order to defend ourselves, but also about redeeming a part of Eretz Yisroel, returning the Kedusha to a place of intense holiness. Imagine this Zemer, which Am Yisroel loves to sing every Friday night, emanates from the very place our courageous soldiers are now fighting to redeem. Listen to the words. Kari Bon is all about today. Quote, Hashem, to whom honor and greatness belong. Save your sheep from the mouth of lions and take your people from the midst of Gullus. Your people that you chose from all the nations. Return to your sanctuary. Return to Kodesh HaKadoshim, the place where souls and spirits will rejoice, where they will sing to you songs of praises. In Yerushalayim, the city of beauty. This, my friends, is what we are fighting for. We're fighting to return Kedusha to the Holy Land. This war is to save us from the mouth of lions, to liberate Hashem's children from Gullus and return us all to the holy city of Yerushalayim and Eretz Yisroel, where once again our sanctuary will stand as an eternal dwelling place of the Shekhinah. On Friday night, we envision the future. Arise and depart from amid the upheaval. This is Lachad Odi. Too long have you dwelt in the Emek Habacha, the valley of weeping, for he will compassionately show you compassion. Those who trampled you will be trampled, and all who devoured you will be cast far off. Your God will rejoice in you, like the rejoicing of a groom over his bride. Enter in peace, O crown of her husband. Enter, O Kala. Enter, O Kala. We ask Hashem to purify our heart, to serve you in truth. We know we cannot serve Hashem correctly until our own intentions and hearts are pure. So we ask Hashem to purify us so that we can serve Him in truth. Like Moshe Rabbeinu, whose heart was untainted. So also the land of our desire must be purified and dedicated to Hashem. All that we were doing today our tremendous challenges are part of the process by which Hashem is allowing us to bring Kedusha into our own Neshamas and into the land of Israel. We're preparing for the Chasana, bringing in the Kala and inaugurating the day which will be all Shabbos. As it says 
in the Navi, go and proclaim in the ears of Yerushalayim, saying, Thus said Hashem, I remember for, for your sake the kindness of your youth, the love of your bridal days. You're following after me into the wilderness, into a land not sown. Israel is holy to Hashem, the first of his crop. All who devour it will be held guilty. Evil shall come upon them. The word of Hashem. Suddenly everything turned around. They saw a light in the distance. There's hope for us, my friends. Just as in ancient Egypt, when the world had turned black, suddenly a new light shone, which we had never seen before. Hashem had sent a redeemer, and our enemies were swept away. We have to know that like the seed in the dark earth, our redemption is ready to sprout in an instant. So in the darkness which has descended upon the world, the light will suddenly shine. For behold, the day is coming burning like an oven, when all the wicked people and all the evildoers will be like straw. And that coming day will not leave them a root or branch, but a sun of righteousness will shine for you who fear my name with healing in its rays. May we be among those who fear his name, and may we see that great day soon. Good Shabbos and a good Chodesh Peace Lane!